Hey guys, got another project for the Mazda Speed 6. Gonna get some uh, instrumentation in the dash. Got a Pro Sport, uh, what do they call these, the Professional Series? Uh, performance Series maybe? Or Professional Series, not sure which one. Uh, got a boost gauge. Got the amber white, I want it to be amber to match the gauges in the Mazda Speed. Got an oil pressure gauge that I'm going to install, but I'm going to have to figure out how to hook up the sender later because I don't want to convert it to a spin-on oil filter. Got a volts gauge and a low-tech 3-gauge pod that's going to replace the useless flip-up cover in the center of the dash. So, I'm going to get prepared, start to install this tonight. Alright guys, I'm going to try to show you this. So this is a grommet for your main power harness. I just pushed this out of the way a little bit. Okay, and there's a lot of room in there. The only thing is, you want to be careful you don't hit any of the wires going out there. So you can see I poked this through. Okay. okay I just poked it with a little prod. stuck on the other side and that's where we're gonna run our uh, loom through see it you can see that yeah you can see it there a little bit this is a tight fit though so gotta pull the battery I'm gonna fish that through all right so back on the other side of the car I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna try and fish something a little bigger through there that. You're gonna poke through. And it is a tight fit. Pull that all the way out. You can just be careful of the wires. Just gonna open it up a little more. Fun part. Just gonna fish that hose through there. All right, guys. With a little bit of patience, you will see right there that green wire. It's hard to get the light in the camera. tape on it coming out right on the bottom of the harness take some time here be patient you'll get it Solder. And I like to go from underneath 
and you'll see that flow right through the conductor or the wire just like that In addition to this, I like to use some electrical tape also on the heat shrink tubing, just as added protection. Of course, I'm going to put this all in a loom, a protective loom. And you may notice I did put the gauges in the, the pod. It needed very slight trim and it wasn't bad at all. And, I mean, the gauges probably would have popped in there with enough force, but I trimmed the plastic a little bit, and they all went in there fine. gauge harness for that. So I took off all this center dash stuff because I got to pull this out because I have to remove this the pins for this and drill a nice hole in there and put a grommet. So the whole radio has to come out. There's plenty of videos on YouTube how to do this but I'll show you this part. So I already taken out the two screws on the back here and it just unclips with a little force. There we go. Somebody put a car link in here, so and here's a tip. Cover your shifter handle with a piece of uh, something, fabric, anything, so you don't scratch this piece right here. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna set this guy down here. Alright. So there's two screws under here we're gonna remove. Two Phillips. And then this thing will pop out of here. Let's be careful with it. Pull it straight back. So I've done this before. And there is a harness back here. Got a little clip in it. Harness is clipped in. We'll pull that out. There's these roll pins in here. There we go. We can pop that out. Like that. And of course, with that out, the other side should just pop right out. Guys out. Nice there we go.
Alright, let's drill these a little bigger. If you guys don't have one of these, you need one. This should be good. Like so. Perfect. Guys, so there's a cavity cut out on this side of the dash, the passenger side, not on the driver's side. You can see my rod here. And it comes right out here by the glove box. That's how I'm gonna fish the boost gauge hose up there. Unfortunately, the hose supplied with the boost gauge is not long enough. So I'm gonna have to run and get some more of that hose. measure. Put a little wire tie on it. Okay. like that. up here.
We're gonna use the cigarette lighter. Get on those pliers. Okay, let's see if we can do it this way. That'll work. And the bottom one, opposite of the wire, would be your 15 amp fuse. And you can see these are different for some reason. Mazda likes to do what they do. And I did find some fuses. So 10 amp for the gauges. And I found a 15 amp for the cigarette lighter. And the solder iron is overkill for this work. But when it's cold, you're doing it outside. Up enough. Perfect. Oh, here, I tidied up all my wires up under here. I didn't put that on the video. Um, uh, so I heated this up. I put a little bit of. tape on the shrink tubing and all that. I'm just gonna pop this back in here. All right, here's the finished product. This work. So we have the vacuum boost gauge, oil pressure, and the volt gauge. Now the oil pressure, I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna hook up the center to the motor. You guys let me know what you think in the comments um, things you may want to see uh, anything related to this video or any of the other videos that I have uh, um, you know subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you like this uh, also hit the bell because I'm gonna have other videos coming out I have a product that I ordered from cork sport I'm not going to let you guys know exactly what it is, but it's performance oriented. Around 15 PSI boost right there. I like the gauges. So I will have another video on the Cork Sport product that I will receive uh, this coming week. Hopefully I'll get it installed and I'll get a video up for you. guys hit me up with some comments. I'll try to respond as quick as I can. Take care.